Magandang araw Pilipinas at sa ating mga kababayan sa ibang bansa. Welcome to TikTok with Aster Amoy. Sa araw na ito mga kaibigan ay sana naman pong special na celebrity ang ating makakakwentuhan. An award-winning actor, a successful businessman, mga kaibigan, a dear friend. Let's all welcome Joel Torre. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a very nice introduction. And I'm so happy that finally I'm in your show, TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Kumusta ka na? What are you busy with? Mabuti Alam ko, you're so naman. busy. Yes. We still have ang soap opera namin, TV show na Dirty Linen. Na napaka-successful. Oo, oh, oh, wow. napaka-ganda and napaka very good feedback. Yes, We're yes. all very proud of it. And I heard, going to be shown abroad. I think so. Oo, oh, yeah, oh, oh, I mean, that was the design of it. Yes. Bago kami nag-shoot, sinabi na sa amin, I mean, there's a possibility. Nice casting as well. Oh, nice story. Well, well, story. Oh. It oh, starts diba? with the material. Cited kami because lahat ng mga artista talagang may role. Yes. You know, that they can sink their teeth into. We work hard for it. In fact, we're so inspired. Minsan, nag-rehearse kami. Kusa namin ginagawa para mapabuti yung trabaho. Grabe, no? Kasi parang hindi siya predictable. Oh, you don't know what's gonna happen next. Unpredictability oh, oh, yes. and the oh, uncertainty oh. of what's right. next. And dabbing oh. twists and the turns oh. and plot. So, that makes it more interesting the more na ganado yung mga tao panoorin ng susunod na kabanata. Actually, not only that, I mean, ang dami ko talaga ang magagandang feedback na nakukuha. Thank you. Yes, Oo, so, diba? so do we. Oh. Lahat actually, ang gagaling nyo doon. <laughs> not because I'm talking to you now. Sin lahat. I must admit, uh, they're, they're special actors. They're very yes. good actors. Yung mm-hmm. cast ng Dirty Linen. They were, they were para sa akin, uh, kinuha sila because they are star actors. I mean, yung talagang yes, right. dekalidad ng mga right, actors. Right. Well, John Arcelia, John Yes, Mitchell Babbles, and then para sa akin, si Janine, o oh, Kasi Tomas, Sanjo, and Janine Gutierrez, what a package, yes, talagang yes, yes. revelation siya para sa akin, because she's so good. Si Janice, yes, a, good oh, a star is born, napaka-bait pa, napaka-humble, <laughs> napaka-simple. It's the whole yes, package yes. na sa kanya na maganda, mabait, oh, oh. talent, everything. Oh. Oh. You've been in the business for uh, four decades. Oro was uh, 82, 41 years. Oh, 1978 so. ka nagsimula. 78. <laughs> 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 Ikaw kasi yung isang tao talaga na hindi ka lang magaling na aktor but you're also a good person. Oh, thank Oo, you. Kasi wala kang ano eh, wala ka rin masamang tinapay eh in the industry. It's a dream of mine to be an ideal human being or just in simple word, how to be a good human being. That's uh, I think that's one of our purpose in life. No, uh, We're living this life so kailangan uh, let's make the best out of it by being good to others. May motto nga ako, uh, invest in good karma. Oh, kasi yes. babalik din sa iyo. Oo, oh, oh, totoo yun. Kasi diba, no? oh, oh, pag bad, yeah. you get bad results exactly. as well. How do you start out with your business? JT's. Alam niyo mga kaibigan, with 35 branches ng JT's Chicken, paano niyo naman ito makakalimutan pag sinabi yung JT's is Joel Torre? The inspiration of being in the food industry started with my mother. Sa Bacolod, may food business kami. We had a catering uh, oh. business. We're in the families ng mga classmates namin, ng mga friends namin, would go to the house. Meron silang premiera, that stackable food yes. uh, container. Premiera ang tawag mm-hmm. doon. And they get all viands for lunch. So, pag uwi namin for lunch from school. Lunch time kasi malapit mm-hmm. lang, pwede ka umuwi. Yes. Ang daming sasakyan nakahilera dyan oh. sa garahe hanggang oh. sa kalye to get their food because that was the time when my mom, 13 kami sa family. So, <laughs> it's not a joke to feed 13 yeah. children, no? Right. Being ako, youngest. So, naisip ng mother ko, total, nagluluto naman ako ng marami and by the way, she's a terrific cook, no? Naggustong gusto ng mga tao yung food niya. So, she might as well make a business out of it. So, you're eating two birds with one stone. You can feed your family family at the same time, you're earning. You're, you're, you're earning. Oh, oh. Hindi biro in schooling, you go to La Salle, mm-hmm. Saints Co. It's not a, but your dad it's not was a, a lawyer. Was a lawyer and he was a sugar trader. They'd buy uh, sugar from the centrals and sell it outside, uh, export. Mm-hmm. So grand export yung ano nila. But then came the sugar crisis where in Bagsak and um, you know the sugar industry was being held by you know a crony, a crony system. So bumagsak talagang uh, lifestyle sa, 
sa Negros. So that was also the time na food was our go-to back-up position ng ano ko, ng, ng family namin. So and then that inspired me to to be in the food. Kaya palang fallback position ng ano, parang naging second nature sa akin na pagkain when we started the business. I'm not really a cook, no? but I know how to eat. <laughs> Magkaiba yun, ha? <laughs> and so the inspiration, sabi ko, kung nagawa ng mother ko, why don't I do it? No? People go to you to get their food. Parang it's full circle ka na. Ang ano lang namin, kailangan may signature dish ka. So sabi ko sa wife ko, kay Christy, taga-Bacolod tayo. So what's the pinaka-famous recipe ng Bacolod? Inasal. Inasal. Which is also nice because it's not complicated at uh, you know, ang motto din namin, keep it simple, mm-hmm. make it fun. You try to be the best uh, version of yourself when it comes to your product. Right. So you, you are in the food business also. Before so you, you understand yes, that. Yes. Oh. Pero simplify lang namin yung ibang restaurant yung from scratch. Inventory nila, beginning inventory, talagang everything. Sa amin, bibilangin muna lang kung how many sticks of chicken, how many sticks of atay, balong baluna, whatever. I found it there's a beauty in simplicity. Uh, diba? Okay. Don't, don't, don't complicate things. Thank you, Lord. Every day, we wake up thanking the Lord for giving us this business. It's so We're so blessed to, to have it. To. Another blessing of it, kasi yung mga anak namin are very interested. In fact, they're changing of the guards na may succession na. They're taking care of the business now. Wow. While we're there, parang consultants lang. O, may ano lang kami. Wow. Approvals and everything. But we're so lucky na interested talaga sila. They're up to the challenge. If I'm not mistaken, yung unang-unang branch mo, itong matatagpuan sa may Hillmore at kanto ng Valencia. Correct. It's an open, <laughs> ano, ni, wala kang aircon doon. Talaga na parang titignan mo na. Street food. Na, street very food. Small, oh. Very small place. Kung tutuusin. Gusto namin i-replicate yung Bacolod kasi oh. yung inasal dati started as a street food. Talaga sa kalye sila nag-iihaw. Yes, tapos yes, mausok yes, na mausok yes. yun. It's a hole in the wall. Start small. We only had the seven tables for the whole thing. And we're occupying the ano pa, the pedestrian road <laughs> <laughs> sa kalye na. Such a blessing. We didn't expect anything to be like that. So we just had to adapt. Be flexible na. Nung dumami na dumami, talang sinakop na namin ang kalye. Literally meaning street food talaga. Ho. When did you start? The we business? started 2003. Oh, and 20 years 20 ago. 20 years ago. Oh, we wow. just celebrated our uh, 20th anniversary sa Valencia. Same okay. place. Na yes. We closed the street. Right. Nagpa-party kami. Right. To celebrate our 20 years of Namit. Oh, <laughs> anong ibig sabihin ng Namit? Basarap. Lami ba? Ah, lami. Namit. Yeah. Oh, lami namit. Oh, yes, yes, sa Ilonggo yeah, right. beans. Delicious. Oh, oh. Sarap. Lami is also Cebuano. Oh, oh, right. Cebuano. Right. Oh, sa amin, oh, Namit. Yes, oh. There are two words. There's Nami, which is uh, parang good. Oh, oh. Pero may Namit, oh, oh. which is oh, for yes. food. Malinam na umami. Oh, ngayon, 35. 35 Thank branches you, Lord. of oh, oh. counting. Because of me or my wife, kasi we started, because of the people which we call our JT's family. The people who are with us since we opened, they're still with us. Our kids, our mga relatives, our staff namin. So we had to hire professionals to, to really, really learn in the business. No? Sabi nga nila, smart people hire smart people. So first thing we did, get a consultant to know the business, the ins and outs of it. Tapos kami, on the job training. As we were working along, we were learning and learning. According to Stanislavski, there's no end to learning. In college, I knew I was very busy already with acting with Peke kasi every year may place kami. Well, what can I do for a living? Anong hanap buhay ko? Sabi ko, this, what are you good at? Sabi ko, acting because I've been doing it all my life since I was seven years old doing stage plays until I was in college. Sabi ko, ah, I'll take up mass com, mass communication because we, we were into the arts. Alam mo naman si Peke, yes. uh, you know, mentor mo, mentor. Oh, talagang yes. artist, full-time artist, no? Uh, Renaissance man. Sabi ko, but wait, sa theater kasi, we were doing every Everything for free. Because you. Pera oh, <laughs> yes. that's that's what passion I. Uh, talaga, passion, talaga. Oh, yes. I, I really love acting ever since. So I took up to ano double major. Ako I took was in mass communication. I took up marketing. Because I thought, ko oh, nga naman, baka nga wala. It cannot the acting on on sa theater cannot sustain me. I better have fallback position. So I took up marketing para may business sense. Then oh. I learned my accounting. Ano mga basic basic lang. But that helped me also. Ayun na papa kina bago. Oh, okay, yung ano lang, like, oh. let's say the um, rule of supply and demand. Supply is high, the demand is low, uh, price is low. Mga ganyan-ganyan lang. Oh. So basic, graduate ako ng MassCom. May Lasal. Sa Lasal, Bacolod. Uh-huh. Tapos may three, three units pa ko natatapusin sa marketing. That was 1982. Kung isa summer, ano ko, double major. Sabi ko, wag 
na ang graduate na ako so I don't need another degree. Buti na lang hindi ko kinuha kasi that was the time when Oro Plata Mata. Nanalo sa ECP, ECP play, uh, yeah. script writing right. contest. I remember I was already working for Peke with Champuy. Tapos on my very first professional job as a graduate na may sweldo na talaga, we were going to Baguio tapos they announced na Peke, your script won sa ECP contest for well, script writing. So we were celebrating kung kinuha ko pa yung course ko na marketing. Wala sa na ako sa Oro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By Ito. fate talaga oh, yes. ho. We were so blessed. It was every uh, beginning actor's dream to have a role like that. It was a dream role for every actor. Oh. 41 were, years oh, ago. Yeah, My goodness. Pero ang una pong pelikula ni Joel was in 1978. Pero bit role lang ito. Cameo lang. Cameo oh. role lang ito. Uh, it was a horror movie. Oh yes. Uh, Gumising ka maruha. Oh, diba? Oh, oh, by uh, Lino Susan Broca. Ro- Lino Broca. Lino First Roses. director, Susan oh. Roses. Diba? Tapos they were, they were, oh, nagsushoot sila sa Bacolod. Si Peke was the local casting director. Ah, so we were already ah. in his theater class. It was first year college. Tapos meron kaming advanced theater na ano. So yung mga studente niya, kami yung mga sa party scene, kami yung mga crowds and everything. Yes, yes. Wow, kakabado-kabado ko, oh. Lino Broca and oh. all that. Oh. But uh, unforgettable. Oh. Pero between Gumising Kamaruha and of course Oro Plata Mata, did you make other movies in between or talagang ang pinakamasatawag mo talagang full-length movie mo was Oro? Uh, well, Oro was talagang the one that brought me into yeah. the Right. But before that, si Peke, grabe rin ang vision ni Peke. He knew I was very interested already in the art. So, bag summer vacation or sem break, he would invite me here in Manila kasi he was already directing Champuy at saka nag-production designer siya kay Bernal, mm-hmm. kay Ishmael, Ishmael Bernal. Bernal. Yes. For Another Manila by night. Oh. Pag may vacation kami, I do internship job for him for free para may experience. Okay. I think our very first movie that he did was Believe It Boys. Oh. Kami yung art oh, dad, kami yung yeah. gumagawa oh. ng mga costume uh-huh. nila. And then, kay William and Maricel Pabling. Doon may mga cameo kami na tumadaan lang na sabi ni Bernal, John, John, why don't you pass by here? Oh, sige, sige, direct. At least na ano ka, um, climatize ka sa in, into the industry which right. what Peke wanted me to do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ka na-expose ka. Na-expose ka. Oh, oh. I mean, you know, provincial boys uh, in, in the big city, at least before you venture into the real world, at least makaka, ano, assimilate ka muna sa kultura. Which I'm very thankful for Peke. He, from there, He really groomed me to be the actor I am now. Kaya nga, oh. you're so identified nga with direct oh. Peke Galiaga. We call ourselves the Ilongo Mafia. Kasi yes. out of nowhere, yes, yes. sumulput lang ito after Oro Plata Man. Saan galing ito mga ito? Si Ronnie Lazaro. Yes, and, yes, oh. Oh. So yes. we were really well trained by Galiaga. I owe my career to Peke. Uh, without him, I don't think I would be in the industry. Or if ever, iba yung landas ko. No? So he he really trained us. Even during high school, college, an amateur theater. But we were trained as professionals. Yun yung mindset. Niya, tapos your commitment to your art is all the way walang hati-hati walang pwede na pwede na kailangan you know go all the way for it hanggat sa makakaya mo bakit hindi mo sinundan or hindi mo pinasok yung pagdi-direct well i was directing for tv no before sa mga maalaala mo kaya marami rin akong na direct pero i was also acting as an actor also minsan magdi-direct ako sa ano then the next day i'll have this soap na kay Judian Esperanza so na burnout ako so i had to make a choice mm-hmm. either i direct tv which is very stressful kasi hawak mo lahat, no? Oh. Or be an actor. So, I had to I had to make a choice. But sabi ko, uh, I love acting. Uh, at least, lesser ng stress. I'm enjoying it. I chose on this side ah, na lang. Oh. Okay. So, by choice. By choice. So, by by choice. By choice. My dream pa rin tayo na if given a chance late. and yeah. the time, yes, yes. I want to make my own small movie. If there are producers out there who have faith and trust in me. <laughs> you can afford to pull Ang dami kong balong-balong oh, na ibibenta. Ang dami ko pang manok ibenta <laughs> para baka pag produce na pili ko na. Kaya na kayo sa JT's para may pelikula tayo. One of my first few jobs ay yung also kay Mother Lady, ho, Mother Presents. I still have the passion for it pero not the time now. I have to get out of the business to focus on directing kasi hindi biro eh. Oo, oh, you really have to a lot, a lot of time with it. And energy and your mind, body yeah, and yes. spirit, you have to be in condition. That's why I'm taking a break now from TV work. Parang I want to How have How long will this time. be? I gave myself one year na wala oh. mo Tagal, tagal TV, yun, TV. To focus on your business. Business. And at oh. the same time, I can do movies. Now, we have also a business to run. And being a professional, may mga nagpa-franchise na sa amin na kailangan talagang pagtuunan ng pansin, no? Ah, yung mga demands of the business. And one of your franchises is Edu Manila. Si Edu, no? oh, oh, sa Kalayaan. Oh. Sino pa? Sino pa? Yung mga well, kami papilang. ni Jim, nag, ano kami, Jimmy diba? Fabregas, kasi kasama rin namin si Jaime sa Makati Cinema Square. Oh. Pero inabot kami ng pandemic. Okay. 
and rent was just like stacking up and we decided to close it. It was not the right time to open a business. Our prices are reasonable. We decided to be na accessible tayo sa social level. Sorry. Kailangan wala tayong pili. We transcend social barriers and levels na pwede tayo sa ABCD na market. We kept our price along that line, especially sa mga employees who is the, ano, may spending capital talaga sila na wag natin sobrahan. I guess that's uh, because we live by the four M's. Eh. Masarap, malinis, mura, meaning uh, reasonable, and masaya. This is true. Ayong first, ano namin, parang, parang bakolod lang na oh, yeah. sila Leo Martinez. Pag, yeah. Pare, parang nasa balayan lang ako. <laughs> you know, yes, yes. It, it had that provincial feel para at home mga tao. Doon sa 13, lahat naman ba kayo nakapagtapos? Yes, everybody became a professional. Wow. Thank God, we are very close-knit family. So, 13, 13 siblings, and then of course, you have already 49. Oh, mga pabangkin. Mga oh, plus may mga apo na. Oh, may mga apo oh, na. Wow. Which I lost track already kung may lang yes, apo na. Oh, but oh. you have two. Uh, we have Tapos, two uh, you have Ayla and uh, Marela. Marela. Uh, pero si Ayla pa lang ang may, may, Married. Uh, oh. may asawa. Si Ayla is the one who makes our design because she's a graphic artist. Uh-huh. She studied uh, multimedia in Ateneo, na graduate siya. She went to further studies. Kumuha pa ng fine arts sa UP. So uh, she, she's really good with this. Uh, yes. While si Marela naman, the younger sister, nag artista na rin. Oh. Yes. Kay Tita Jun din na uh, uh-huh. Torrejon uh-huh. Rufino din siya sa JTR family. Uh-huh. Lumabas na sa problem. Vinciano, tapos yeah, may I saw sa sila ni Richard Somes. She's starting her career, but she wants to learn more on the workshop siya. So, that talagang hinug na hinug na siya. When, but she's also a very good businesswoman. Siya ang on the business side of JT. Oh, so lucky. We, oh. Well, you can say that. Oh, oh. So, swerte may ibang, talaga. Oh. May ibang anak kasi, they're not interested in their uh, parents' ano, uh, business. Business, oh, in the oh, family, yeah, family business. Kami yes. naman, nung, nung bata pa sila, si Marella was like seven at that time. Nagwe-waiter-waiter waiter na yan. Oh. Sa doon sa Valencia, oh. tapos binibigyan siya ng tip ng 100 oh. for a 7-year-old. Dad! Dad! <laughs> Every day mukhang gusto niya mag-waitress na doon kasi. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we, they grew up with us uh, telling them na wala namang ipagmamamana na namin sa inyo to. You'll be the keep up with the tradition and the succession of the business because later on, you'll be the ones to handle it. It was ingrained in them na ah, sasaluin na namin to. Siguro, na-condition na rin sila. But Marilla is more of the businesswoman. She is. She oh. is more... More than Ayla. She are well, they're both artists. Si Ayla is also because she has her own uh, career as, as a graphic artist. Kinukuha siya ng maraming ano, to make their logos, to make shirts, mga merch namin, yes, mga yes. design namin, and even others like Titan yes. and a lot more kinukuha siya as a graphic artist. They have their careers and business and at the same time, the family business which mas, mas tutok sila dun sa negosyo talaga kasi hindi mo pwede iwanan yung food business, di ba? Paano kayo nagkakilala ni Christy, your wife? Your wife of how many years? Mag- 35 na kami oh, this year. Okay. Plus, uh, we got married in 18. She's also an Ilonga, right? Taga-Bakolo. Din Taga-Bakolo sila Bakolo, family no? friend. In fact, her grandfather, the brother of her grandfather, was like the best friend of my father. May farm sila sa um, Rosalia in Manapla, near where the Gaston, that yeah. mansion in Oro was right. shot. I think I was second year high school, si Christy. I was 14. She was 12, no? Nagkita kami dun sa so house ng farm. High school tayo pareho. High school. The first time we were introduced, we saw each other. Nakita ko. Oh, parang something oh. ito yung babae yung pakakasalan ko sa so, oh, age of innocence ah. to make a long story short during college we were together oh. we were boyfriend girlfriend and then I had we had to split because I had to leave for Manila to be in the business kasi iiwalan ko na sabi ko I want focus lang muna we Pero separated for a while may naghiwalay talaga cool because kayo. oh kasi long distance ah, relationship yes, 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 may hirap yes, yes. din you know may absence yes. we charter our own life for a oh, while oh. para nakabalikan kami the day we got married sabi ko Chris naalala mo Ilang taong kayo nagkahiwalay? Mga well, one year lang. Ho. Okay. I, 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 parang oro. Oh, yes, kasi yes. we were shooting in right, Bacolod. Right. Parang nagkikita-kita na ulit yes. kami. When we, after we got married, sabi ko, Chris, do you remember that time when we, we saw each other in grandfather's house? Sabi ko, nung nakita kita, sabi ko, ito yung babaeng pakakasalan ko. Alam mo, sabi niya, ya, ako din. Oh, <laughs> nung nakita niya naman ako at 12. So were, I think it was by faith, yeah, no? Uh, you were distant for each other. Oh, oh. Sabi nga nila, may prayer nga. Uh, God's plan for his mate. Ito yung soulmate mo. Considering na nagkaroon siya 
ng boyfriend mm -mm, after, mm -mm. after nagkahiwalay ako nag uh, girlfriend din dito oh. sa Manila but oh. you know, the one that got away <laughs> thought got <laughs> oh. pero paano kayo nagla-reconnect well Oro nga no? and they were showing Oro then she had to work here sa Batibot kasi ang friend namin din ang director Coco Jimenez mm -hmm. which was also our moderator sa theater mm -hmm. group namin sa Bacolod mm -hmm. so she employed herself as a production assistant oh. in Manila until mm -hmm. we were there sabi ko quit your job and let's settle na lang oh. so this was 1988 35 years na oh, 1988 oh, oh. Oh, kami nagpakasal October and up to this day kayo pa rin kami pa rin pero oh. never naman ito pinasuka ng problema natural naman yes, normal sa, naman yun sa mag-asawa mag mag meron, meron pero no? was there a we time we were tested na, though oh, the time na kakuntik na naman kayo magkahiwalay tampuhan and everything but yun nga God's plan for his mate there's a call na wag 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 ma wag nung gawin no? marriage is not a contract but it's a sacred sacramento marriage it's your union thank God we followed our path you na. got married in uh, Bacolod. Bacolod what date uh, October 29, 1988. Dapat nun, ano, August 8, 1988. Diba mga 88, 888, remember that, ano? She left for the state para mag muna, para, you know, to broaden her horizon. Mm -hmm. She got back, that's why um wedding got delayed a bit. Pero October kayo 30. na ulit nun? Oo. Oo. Kami na, about marriage, yes. na, we were already, kahit na nasa state siya, fiancé na talaga before she left. Mm -hmm. We were bound to get married. That's so another motto in life, meant to be, it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. Talagang kung para sa'yo, para sa'yo. Do you still remember your first acting award? We did. Uh, play 1976. I was like what? 14, 15. Ang play namin the Royal Heart of the Sun. We competed. Kita ba kaulot kami? We competed in ilo ilo dramatic awards. Na may mga plays, uh, competition. We won the best play. I won the best supporting actor. Sa so, movies, I just got a lot of nominations. But my first award actually was 1986 for Unfaithful Wife. Michael De Mesa okay. and Anna Marie Gutierrez. Anna Marie Gutierrez. Uh, ay, 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 ay. That was our first award. We split kami ni Michael won the Orion, ako mm -hmm. yara sa PMPC, ha ha, best, actor. best actor, cause we were ano talaga, oh, best mm -hmm. friends in the movie. Mm -hmm. That's how I became very close with Michael no? and the Eigenman family actually. The next was Bucky. I don't keep track actually, yes, yes, but yes. sa Orion, my first Orion was for Batang West Side. I won. That was the 25th uh, anniversary of Orion. The, the movie with Love Diaz we shot in New York. Best supporting actor sa Orion for Bayaning Third World. Kay Mike De Leon na yung Jose Rizal. Uh, the Bayanic Third. And then my last Urian was on the job. You mentioned Jose Rizal. Alam nyo ba mga kaibigan ko anong tunay na pangalan ni uh, Joel? Jose Rizalino de Leon Torre. I was born June 19. Kaparehas ng birthday. birthday. The birthday niya. Pero si Rizal original. was 1861. Ako 1961. So it's 100 years after. Sabi nga ni Mike de Leon when we say, kung nag-reincarnate si Rizal, bakit ilonggo? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> Tagalog. Yeah, that was his job. Kasi only. Laguna siya eh, di ba? O Kalamba. Kalamba. Kalamba, di ba? Purong Tagalog talaga. Oh. Oh. So magka-birthday pala kayo ng si Rizal. Yes, Ayun. yes. Oh. That was the reason kung bakit din pinangalan sa'yo yung si Rizal Lino. Correct. Are you related And to the De Leon? My grandfather was a mayor of Iloilo in 1906. I never got to, to see them, to oh. meet them. Because they died uh, early. Pero sabi ng mother ko, their De Leon uh, ano, was also from uh, Bulacan. Bulacan din. I don't know what the relationship yeah, is. Right. Pero if you trace our family, tagaroon daw talaga. He was a politician, one of the I think, third mayor of Iloilo in 1906. So, so malamang, malamang, di ba? Malamang baka, kasi, oh, baka, oh, isa oh, lang oh. naman ang pinagmumulan niya. Correct, oh, oh. Oh. So Why are you so mestizo? My mother, De Leon, tapos Diaz, yung mother niya. My mother is like 70% talagang mestiza, no? Uh -huh. Spanish, Spanish oh. Oh, oh. While the Torre, medyo binigay na yung pangalan ng mga Kastila. Kung taga Tigbawan Town ka mm -hmm. from Idilo, mm -hmm. all your family name starts with a T. So that the Spaniards can trace you whenever there's oh, a right. case, okay. di ba? Uh, mm -hmm. Give a name in the Spanish. They give you a, a Christian name pa, so to be baptized. Uh, no lang yung, mm -hmm. ano, yung Pero sabi ng father ko, my grandmother, who's an Obregon, Mexican. Mexican How are you related blood. to Julius Obregon? He's the first cousin of my dad. Oh. Also, growing up in Bacolod, mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. he would visit, we'd meet. No? Pero the Obregon is not a very common name. Actually, karamihan naman ng mga taga-Bacolod eh. Ang dami mga mistiso dun eh. Mga Spanish na oh. from up north. Mga yeah. Basco. Yeah. If you, mga Larazabal, Zuriaga. Because uh, the opportunity before of farming. They love to farm. They introduce sugar, mga mm -hmm. the Brits and, mm -hmm. the, uh, and the French. There was an opportunity for 
their land to be cultivated. So they were into sugar the, then. Sugar. Sugar oh, industry. Oh, oh. And they got married into the local families or some of them married among themselves, the mga mestizo, mestiza. Got them to, to the province was because of the opportunity of having land and yes. to till the land. Puro mga asendero nga oh, eh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Most likely some of them, yung mga nanay na taga Iloilo talaga and Bacolod mm-hmm. who come, and they would in, marry mm-hmm. with the uh, with, with, uh, mm-hmm. mga mestizo, mm-hmm. mga peninsulares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, narinig ko na naman yan. Uh, Insulares. So. Ano ang nakikita mo sa present generation working with this uh, new crop of actors? I was so lucky. I was in the tail end of that generation. In Inabutan mm-hmm. ko pa sila Vic Celayan, Rahil De Leon, yeah. Rolando Tino, and until now sila Cyril Manabat. Uh, oh, yes, yes. I would say there were more interesting projects at that time when it was the golden era of movies and <laughs> movies was the one Correct. that was fueling the industry. Correct. Now it's TV. And this with this new crop, I see a, 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 a very a good promise because sa mga ABS, even in Channel 7, GMA, they have already acting workshops. Yes. They have this Before, star. during your time, oh, wala pa yun. We, may, meron din naman uh-huh. theater, pero I think it was Pekeho introduced the actors workshop foundation. Now, you were lucky because you were already part of the theater. Yeah, that was um, uh-huh. when we were in college, Peke came across uh, yung being ni Eric Morris mm-hmm. and we adopted that mm-hmm. school of acting. Mm-hmm. No? And mm-hmm. dinala nung nandito na kami sa Manila, we experimented it on professional actors and it mm-hmm. worked. So, mm-hmm. there was actual training for actors and uh, there was a laboratory if you didn't have work, you want to, you know, parang polish your craft. So, pwede ka mag lab work. Mm-hmm. And then, with the new ones now, I could see that the well-trained actors, kahit mga bata, they already adapted a discipline dati kasi, ano lang eh, inspiration mm-hmm. ng sana mm-hmm. But, you know, there's a science to acting. Yeah, yeah, and right. That's why they call it a process. Mm-hmm. Obligation plus choice plus choice approach equals mm-hmm. ganito, a mm-hmm. performance. So, na pag aralan na yan is yung widow-widow na lang. So, I could see with the young ones, like Shairil Mana, but she's a terrific actress mm-hmm. because she started young too yeah, and of course with guidance and I right. don't I see a lot of promise Uh-oh. I see a lot of promise so even who else in, uh, aside from Cyril sila Arjo sila oh, Tim yeah, si Sid Lucero marami maraming magagaling si Janine Gutierrez sila oh, oh. Hmm. makikita mo na aside from their talent they really work hard for mm-hmm. it you know mm-hmm. it just don't come out here mm-hmm. as a wow galing without working on it talagang you must do your homework uh, alam mo yung yung obligation ng trabaho mo as an actor the discipline, the commitment, the sacrifice, yeah. professionalism. Mm-hmm. That talagang it's like a basketball player na hindi sa game na kukuha yung laro. It's during the practice. Talagang okay. kailangan, you know, Michael Jordan is always in the zone because of his practice. That talagang pinag-aralan niya. For actors, even if you don't have work, kailangan like a saw yung ano na talasan mo rin yung mga equipment mo. So you have these exercises even when you're So you're attuned with your tool which is your body. And and your mind and your soul and everything. I could see that's a bright future in the industry. With this, start to lead to lead. Yung sabi nga ni Stanislavski, Konstantin Stanislavski, the father of method acting. There is no end to learning. All is adapt. That every day we learn every day. So it's a new craft. Until now, I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm still discovering things. Until now, I that's why I want to go to. I want to achieve that moment in the in the right, zone ka right. at the moment ka capture the moment. Pagka, Look at the mindset mo. Oh, oh, pag, oh, oh yeah, because that's your profession. Right. You have a duty to your to your craft. Pag uwi mo sa bahay, after a good performance, yun lang naman ang recognition. Of, wow, thank you, Lord. Thank you for guiding me or thank you for the result of the work because you can sleep better. Kasi may mga times na pag uwi, ano ba yung ginawa ko? Gusto, gusto mong ulitin ulit, but wala na. So now, you have to be professional and disciplined enough to capture that moment. May tatanong ako sa'yo, fill this up. Best movie? Oro. Yes. Well, there's no, not only one best movie. Bayaning Third World, On the Job, ni Eric Mati, and Karnal, ni Marilu. Batang West Side de la Via. So the, I, I have these yeah, five right. which I have posters in the in the restaurant because these are the ones where I really, you know, I I'm, sure. parang, I put my heart and soul into it with the uh, good results now I feel. Best director? Well, Peke of course is one. Mike De Leon, Marilu, Diaz Abaya, Bernal, I've worked with. One thing I can, re- I'm really proud of in my filmography is I've worked with the great, the great directors. From Lino to Ishmael to Peke to Mike to Marilu, Lori, Galing, galing. Uh, Eddie Romero, yes. uh, Mario J. Las Reyes, Love Diaz, Joel Raymond to, Red, Joel Laman, from the yes. industry standard to the to the what independent directors. Uh, yun ang pinagmamalaki ko talaga yun. Na I was so lucky 
I was under the tutorship or the guidance of this great director. If you look at the filmography I have, those are the movies that I am really proud of because, you know, hard work and dedication uh, may result talaga. Best leading lady. Sherry. The late Sherry. I was so saddened by Sherry's passing because marami kaming pelikula o project si Sherry. Actually, I re- realized it when she passed away. Looking back, sabi, dami pala dami ginawa ni Sherry. And we were close. We were really friends. Rio Loxin, La Angel Aquino, inabot <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Because Up of to now, TV pare, na, pare oh, kayo. Oh, oh. Sandy and Dolong mm-hmm. because of uh, Oro. Si Lorna Tolentino. Tolentino. Yes. Oh. yes. Mm-hmm. What is one experience you had in this business or related to your work as an actor ang hindi hindi mo makakalimutan? Bayaning Third World. I was so obsessed with playing the Jose Rizal role and Mike De Leon was also obsessed with doing his own version of Jose Rizal, no? which was a, an independent take on the deconstruction. Of Rizal. So after this whole scene, natapos na ako sa pelikula. I went into the room, tapos na. I'm, I'm done with And I ended up looking at the mirror of uh, the makeup room with nobody there and I was crying and crying and crying. Being thankful and being grateful na I was able to play the part. You know, uh, yung gustong dream project mo na buo eh, with Mike De Leon no less. You know, I was breaking down. So, so sobrang tuwa. It was tears of joy na wow, finally I did it. Na yung talaga at abako mo yung gusto gusto mong gawin na nagawa. Unforgettable. And there's of course a lot more yung oro you know the first take of oro plata mata and everything but that one playing a dream role talagang stuck in my heart so. playing the role of Jose Rizal yeah. that's your name pinangalanan ka na pinangalanan ka after him birthday mo ka birthday mo tapos say you played his character oh, oh. too good to be true yes exactly oo oh, oh. siguro law of attraction din di ba yes. parang talagang china channel ko yung oh, i want to play the part i want to play the part so siguro sa subconsciously I was able to because nga, all roads lead to that direction. Nung nag-rehearse pa kami kay Mike, I would go to Calamba at night or even during Parang the day to, to visit the house of Rizal and yung talag- channel mo yung oh, ano niya. Oh, oh. You put everything into it. That's the magic of the arts, eh. especially as an actor. It's like if you put your heart into it. And so, diba? oh. I will remember I was doing this uh, exercise, acting exercise with Eric Morris, the, talagang the founder of Being, you no know, Acting Priest. While I was doing a monologue exercise, he told me the result was probably good. He said, that's it. That's it, Joel. That's the role of an actor is to bear your soul. Talagang that's your job as an actor is hindi to ka, bear your hindi soul. Hindi ka dapat na hold back. Oh, oh diba? yung palabas mo. You release it. And then uh-huh. if you can, you know, if it transcends to the audience, na, nararamdaman niya, I think, there's a re- oh, yeah, re- re- right. reciprocate ang, ang trabaho mo na mm-hmm. lumulusot sa screen. That's why there are unforgettable performances, which is a challenge for me. I want very taxing and stressful for us kasi kailangan makuha mo yun eh. That's uh, your role as an actor nga is to bear your soul. No? So, kailangan ano mo yan. So, pushes me. Keep on going, going, going. And I don't think we can retire in this industry, especially in our craft. Although, maybe, ano lang, oh, physical uh, deterioration might dictate our health. But as long as we're kicking, uh, kahit small role lang, or any cameo role, I'm willing to do if I love that project. Do you choose the roles that you accept? Now, before or wala kang choice because hanap buhay mo eh. eh what's good about the business of uh, having the restaurant you have a little uh, you know a financial freedom in other words you don't have to kill yourself accepting everything so that you can put food on the table now I can choose which is very rare no? I mean I, I like it that way na, you know may freedom ka to choose right. which is a luxury actually and I'm so thankful for that uh, you know I can choose project the better ones which I believe in where I can put my heart and soul again para hindi sayang yung you know yeah, talagang mo, yes. oh, kailangan na ano, ng gustong gusto mo kasi if you love what you're doing you, you don't work a single day of your life frustrations wala <laughs> akong frustration I take everything as a lesson even failures para sa akin very helpful if you learn from it and uh, you don't repeat it no regret my frustration siguro in life I was able to see both my grandparents on my on my paternal and maternal side because I was born very late I was a menopausal baby my mom was already 40 six when she oh. had B.O. Oh. So, but at that time, but 13 siguro, sanay na. Mm-hmm. So, hindi ko nakita yung mga grandparents ko. Both sides. Uh-huh. Yun lang. It's just the what if. What if siguro, na-spoiled din siguro ako ng grandparents. I wasn't spoiled by any grandparent. I could 
still imbibe their spirit through my parents, through my brothers and sisters, who talagang live with them, oh, were able to to be with them. Any particular role na hindi mo pa nagagampanan up to this day na gustong gusto mo? I could say I've done almost everything I wanted to do. Ang last, there was a one movie I wanted to do, you know, a tranny. So I was able to do that. Wala na ko hinahanap na role. And I don't even plan like before na like to get that to share The way I take things now is if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Talagang Diyos na nang bahala. I, I surrender everything. Okay, what comes my way? Give me the guidance. Should I take this or should I not? Isang bagay na iniyakan mo except doon sa Jose Rizal movie? Well, the loss of loved ones is pinaka number one stressor in life. Losing my parents, talagang anak sa, or and even my best friend. Friends, no? I have, have friends who, who died early. Na barkada talaga. Masakit, masakit. You realize how precious relationships are until you lose them. Ano talaga, I, I try to treasure my relationships with the people who are very close to me. That includes my immediate family, my own family. That's why I want to keep this just from... For 40 years, I've been working so hard, concentrating in this industry. Now that I want time for myself so I can spend it with um, most precious time. With your family? Yes, and friends, and with the colleagues. So, How do you want to be remembered? Is Joel trying to be a good human being? Parang sa mga apo, okay naman si Lolo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Alam mo, looking at you, meron kang ang gulong si Aga Mulak eh. No! Oo, may nagsabi na Wendy. Uh, Kuya Ags, uh, uh, paano ba yan? Ha? <laughs> Kaibahan mo lang, may balbas ka, di ba? We did uh, cell number 7. Oh, so no, yun, 2019, oh. number 1. Number 1 sa box office, Metro Manila Film Festival. Nako, what, yes. uh, ano yun, talagang yeah. ikumpara kay Aga Mulak, parang ano yun, nakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
is not just entertainment. Kundi meron siyang ibabahagi sa lipunan, sa kultura, sa kultura. at saka sa pagkatao natin. That's why I don't take my job uh, lightly. I put my heart and soul into it kasi kahit wala na kami rito, mapapanood nila and sabi, yeah, okay pala yung si Lolo. Yung legacy <laughs> na iiwanan mo sa kanila. <laughs> yes, uh, well, yeah, you, you immortalize your, yourself by your, by your movies. Anything to promote? Anything to plug? Thank you for all the years. Don't forget that's JT's Manukan Grill, your friendly neighborhood restaurant which serve delicious comfort food coming from our region in Bacolod, mga Ilonggo food. Please support the arts, no? the industry, performance, entertainment and everything. It is an industry na maraming taong nabubuhay dito. I would like to ask for more producers who can come up with a good body of work so that we can contribute something to society too. No? Hindi lang ito pang patawa, papaiyak, kundi meron tayong mga aral na matututunan. At bago kita pasalamatan, Joel, please allow me to thank my personal sponsors. Sure. Maraming salamat sa Pandan Asian Cafe. Thank you so much, Dennis, Alvin, and of course, Roland, Ever Belena, Hello Glow, Most View from Japan, Beauty Derm, Nutritech, Thank you so much, Jos de la Luna, Aficionado by Joel Cruz, Eris Beauty Care, Vanilla Skin Clinic at Robinson's Magnolia, Nessa Tomas Morato, Richie's Kitchen by Richie Ang, Nessa Astilla Salon for My Hair and Makeup, Gandang Rique Reyes, Chato Sugay Jimenez, Joffrey Jimenez, Bebot Santos of Colorete Clothing, Studio Manila, Manila Bulletin, marami maraming salamat, Bobby Ricantina, Primo Skin, Red Meat, and of course, sa aking bagong sponsor, Sendwave, huwag niyo pong kakaligtaan ang aking promo code na ASTER. And you will get $20. And of course, kayo mga kaibigan sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay at pagsuporta sa TikTok with Astra Amoyo. Huwag niyo pong kakaligtaan, mag-subscribe, mag-like, mag-share, and hit the bell icon of TikTok with Astra Amoyo. Every Friday po yan, 12 noon. And of course, my dear friend, Joel, thank you so much for your time and for sharing your life story to us. Good luck, more power, more success, lalo na sa negosyo mo, and being a very good actor. Thank you so much, Tadita Aster. I'm so honored to be here and I'm so relieved that I was able to reveal a part of me through you. Maraming maraming salamat from the bottom of my heart. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much. Of course, it's my pleasure. Maraming maraming salamat. Like what I said, thank you for sharing your life story with us. Thank you. And with that, mga kaibigan, hanggang sa muli. Dito lamang po sa TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Bye for now.